Yo, what's up everybody? This is Daryl DMC McDaniels. I am co-founder with Sheila Jaffe of the Felix Organization. I grew up in Hollis, Queens, New York. It was like 1978 when this thing called hip hop came over the bridge and I became the third member of Run DMC and I'm one of the guys that walked this way in my Adidas while telling the world how tricky life could be. Here I am. Oh, I have the best family in the world. I had both parents in my house and my brother. Um, they were just the most uh, guiding, loving, caring, disciplining um, parents that any kid could ask for. So at age 35, I found out that I was adopted. Shocking, dramatic revelation. My childhood was complicated. It was great until I turned 11 and I found out I was adopted. And it kind of, you know, pulled the rug out from underneath me. There was no pride in being adopted. It was kind of a negative. All of these questions, why did my birth mother give me up? This and that, that means there's this other lady, another father. Like it was, it, it, it destroyed me because it hit me with a lot of these why. And all that did to me was this. It made me feel all alone. I went out to dinner with a friend and he said, wait a second, do you know Daryl McDaniels? Run DMC. And I said, no. And he said, okay, you have to meet him because he was just in my office last week and he found out he was adopted at 35. When I sat down with Sheila, the most incredible healing thing to me was this. Oh, wow, another adopted person just like me. So I am not alone. And there's probably a whole lot of us. We bonded. Like it was the first time either one of us were really talking about being adopted and talking to another adoptee and, and, and finding so many similarities. So out of these unfortunate events and this one unplanned meeting just to the unite two so-called lost souls came the Felix organization um, 16 years ago. We wanted to do something for the kids who were less fortunate than we were and didn't get taken home and didn't have parents. So the Felix organization takes the kids in foster care, puts them around other kids like them so that they see that, oh, I'm not alone. There are so many of us like me and we can thrive and we can be successful and we are actually normal children. I think our first camp started with like 75 kids and then we just ballooned to almost 200 and 250 a year. Now we open up camps for the LBGTQ community. We open up camps for the older kids. The goal is to work with as many children as we can in foster care. They meet new friends, they open up, they start trusting, they know we're gonna be there next year and the year after. So they believe in us and, and the trust becomes palpable. When you give a child, regardless of their situation, no matter how dire or unfortunate or traumatic it could be, when you give them that opportunity to participate, to recreate, to educate themselves, here's a great rap rhyme. They don't just do well, those children excel. That's the change that we see. Your producer, Erin Shea, did a great job. Uh, she asked our friends at Flintstones Vitamins if they wanted to help you guys out, and they are donating $7,500 to your program. Oh, my goodness. To help you, to help you achieve your goals. Oh, my goodness. That's a good thing. Oh, the so kids are so lucky. Thank you so much to Daryl and Sheila. Good people. Oh.